This is Egypt's number one for hit music, 104.2, Nile FM. Now, Nile FM's aware with Adam. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. Welcome to the show. With me tonight in the studio is Ola from Karp Vitem Egypt. I know that sounds a little bit scary. We're going to find out all the details about this wonderful initiative. Stay tuned. Egypt's number one. Hola, first of all, welcome on the show. Thank you. I mean, it just goes without saying. What the heck exactly is Carp Vitam <laughs> Egypt? Because uh, I just don't. I the, the closest thing I can relate it to is Carpe Diem, which is like seize the day in Latin. Okay. But I'm not really sure if there's a connection, Aslan, or not. Actually, Carpe Vitam is uh, means seize life in the Latin language, and um, as Carpe Vitam Egypt is a branch of an international organization called Carpe Vitam International, and it's a Swedish organization. Really? Yep. So there is an actually connection because I know yes, Carpe. See? Yeah, I know Carpe Diem from the legendary Robin Williams in that Dead Poet Society movie, okay. or like you know Captain My Captain. But okay. what exactly is Carpe uh, Carpe uh, Vitam Egypt, and what is what is Seize Life? What is it as an initiative? Um, it's an organization, an Egyptian organization NGO actually, and it's a branch of an international organization, as I said, and it's an organization that works in the field of culture and education. Very interesting. Well, what exactly do you do with culture and education? Okay, uh, Carpe. Vitam Vitam Egypt was established 2004 for the sake of a community center in Qusair. Qusair is a very small city in, in the Red Sea. I, I know many of the Egyptians never heard about it before. I did, I did. I uh, go there for diving. Oh my God, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason that you would hear about Qusair in Egypt. Um, actually, it's, a, it's the um, oldest city in the Red Sea and it's a very beautiful city. Um, it's totally different from the other cities of Egypt. It has some sort of the Arabic traditions. Uh, it looks much more like much more like Gidda, uh, Manama and so on. Really? The people, yes. If you go to the old Qusair, it's it's not like it's not like the the south of Egypt, or it doesn't look like the villages. It, it's totally different. People. Who I'm very ashamed of myself because so I've been to Qusair like about a million times to go diving, but I've actually never took the time to visit the city. What exactly do you do in Carpe Vitam? You said that you're focused on arts and culture. What exactly do you do? We have a community center there. We take care of. Um, we care about arts much more because, as I said, people there don't know a lot about arts. We have a, a culture center. And we work more on educational nurseries re- using the Reggio Emilia, IT okay, I'm, I'm gonna languages. I'm going to interrupt so you there. Using the what now? Reggio Emilia technique. It's an Italian technique for preschoolers. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, and again, it depends on cultural arts for children. Really? Because I, I only know the technique that my dad used to use. <laughs> Do what I tell you or you're never leaving That's the house. the army ever way. Again. <laughs> That's the army. So you have this community center, but it's only in Al Qusair. So basically, you're servicing Al Qusair only. This is a part of our activities. The other projects we have, we have here in Kus- in Cairo. Sorry, um, another thing called um, Live for Others program. We we have it all around Egypt now. It's a program for volunteers. We train volunteers from 12 to 16 years to become leaders of the future. Wow! And that's... we take them to slum areas. We give them a lot of training programs first, and then we take them to slum areas and so on. Now we've already covered one side of uh, what you guys do, which is basically focusing on arts and culture with your community center in El Qusir City. Exactly. Um, the, the preschool uh, concepts that you have there, the very, very unique and uh, and like, you know, very progressive uh, schooling techniques and I, I can't remember the name. Reggio Emilia. Yes, that one. From Italy, actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we also talked about the initiative Live for Others that is taking place here in Cairo and all over Egypt about training volunteers. Yes, what exactly, exactly do you train them on and what are you hoping to accomplish through that? Okay, we train them to work on the field of sustainable development because whenever when we say the word volunteer in Egypt, you go like uh, Ramadan bags or you go for things that that's much more charity. But we want to teach them how to do sustainable uh, projects. I like that. Exactly. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the idea came from uh, when we grew up, we couldn't find people who are trained. So we stop and then pe- we, again, when people start, they start from the beginning. So we, we decided to give them all what we've learned in our life so they can start from where we ended. Very, 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 very cool. And basically, you enable these um, volunteers that you train to then go on and work for other NGOs or start their own projects exactly. or something like that? Yes. That's very, very, very cool. You, excuse me, you also mentioned during, um, like when we were playing some music, that you have this other uh, franchise or this other initiative, um, um, Hearts of... Hearts Full of Arts. There we go, that's okay. the one. Okay, Hearts Full of Arts is the project that you heard about us from. It's a project that we go to different cities. We started again with Qusair and we started drawing on the walls, do, working on the, the street, doing big 3Ds and so on. So people um, people of the city themselves, you help in developing their city. It looks much better and um, we 
teach them again environmental things. Could you do that on my street? Because my street looks like <laughs> hell. <laughs> Where do you live? <laughs> I have to say, because seriously, the street just looks very, very, very grim. All the trees are gray by now, and all the buildings just have so much dust on them. It's just not a happy place. Now we've talked about three of the main uh, uh, driving, like you know, uh, promotions or, or projects that you guys are working on. Mm -hmm. Live for others, training volunteers to becoming leaders of tomorrow, which I think is just phenomenal. As well as the culture center, as well as the uh, nursery and schooling techniques that you're applying in Al Qusayr city. Mm -hmm. And we also mm -hmm. talked about hearts full of arts. You started with Al Qusayr, it exists now in Cairo. Are you spreading out? Are you taking this thing national? Or is it just located in these two areas? Uh, it's much more, we're working much more on these two areas, but we're spreading uh, somehow to Alexandria um, next time, inshallah. And in Hergada and all the Red Sea, we're working on all the Red Sea, inshallah, because uh, they really have the need there. They, we do not have a lot of people working in the community there. I was just about to ask you, why Why is there such an emphasis on the area of the Red Sea? Um, what do you mean? I mean, why, why Why are you dedicating so much of your time to the okay. Red Sea area? It's, an, it's not a lot of people, they work in the sustainable development field and uh, even the, the thought of being a volunteer is not there as much as Cairo or Alexandria or so on. So it, it, we, it really needs a lot of help and it needs a push. Besides, the Red Sea, will, in my point of view, will be the future of Egypt. Nice. Yes. I've, I've spit, like from a diver's perspective, I couldn't agree with you more. So in regards to Carpe Vitem though, do you have any plans for the future or are these three projects the one that you're working on and you're just going to continue working on those or there's more in the pipeline? Actually, we have more in the pipeline and we are, ex as you said, we're expanding our projects more in different cities. Wow. It's coming to be that time of the day where we have to wrap things up on tonight's edition of Nile FM's Aware. With me tonight was Ola from Carpe Vitem Sees Life Egypt. Um, an organization that's dedicated so far, we've talked about three of your initiative, Hearts Full of Arts, uh, Live for Others as well, uh, a very interesting program to train volunteers and what you guys are doing in terms of community center in El Qusayr City, um, just like, you know, just supporting the concept of arts and culture here in Egypt all across the board. And I think it's wonderful. I guess at the very end, these three projects, if I want to be involved with them, or if I want to reach out to you guys, find out more, or maybe find out a little bit about what you guys are going to be doing in the future, how do I reach you? Where do I find you? You can reach us through our Facebook. Facebook account, um, Facebook page actually, it's um, Carpe Vitam Egypt, this is one. Actually, or I'm going to have to stop you again. How do you spell Carpe Vitam just oh, so I'm I make sure that everybody yeah, okay. gets it? C-A-R-P-E-V-I-T-A-M um, and then Egypt, E-G-Y-P-T. So it's basically www.facebook.com yes. uh, slash exactly. Carpe Vitam Egypt and that's that's the way to go. Yes, and we have a page for each pro each project from the ones we mentioned as well. Sweet. Yeah, alhamdulillah. And, uh, okay, and we have our face, um, uh, our website, which is www.cvegy.com C-V-E-G-Y yep. So Carpe Vitam like basically the initials of Carpe Vitam and then E-G um, E-G, yes E-G-Y dot com There you have it that's how you can get in touch with Carpe Vitam Ola, thank you so much thank for taking so much. the time and thank you for coming to speak really with us I really liked it thank you so much okay. I'm glad you enjoyed uh, As I always say though at the end of the show again, if you're one of these individuals working on something whether it's a social development initiative an organization whatever it is if you're trying to give back to the community and make a positive impact on society and in Egypt I'd love to have you and put and basically shed the light on whatever it is that you're doing. Send me a quick email. Let me know what your organization is up to or what your uh, project is up to. Aware at NileRadioProductions.net. Again, that's Aware at NileRadioProductions.net. I'd love to have you here on the show. Just send me a quick email. Tell me what you're all about. And uh, who knows, maybe you'll be the next one standing with me here in the studio and we'll be talking about your project next week. That's it from us right here on Nile